Okay, so today is August 2nd, 2023, and I'm about to go back and get the Interstem device by Medtronic for my bladder. Um, it's supposed to help regulate the overactive symptoms and the frequency and maybe some pain. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. So I am back at home. The surgery went well. Um, I talked to the Medtronic representative after the surgery and she told me how to use the device. Um, I will show you all what I got in the box, um, the programmer to control it and whatnot. Um, I'm home by myself. My mom has the kids for right now. So I'm gonna do my best to show this on camera. So this is the first part of the surgery. So I'm just testing the device right now. Uh, the device is strapped uh, with an elastic band. And this is the actual interstem pacemaker device right here. Um, so it has these two lead wires coming out and the doctor uh, did an x-ray to see where they should be placed at. Uh, and they are taped down. So I just have to be careful. They said the most important thing is to uh, not bend over uh, take it easy on the stairs and uh, make sure the site does not get infected or else they will have to take it out. Um, so yeah, I am feeling a little better. I've gone to the bathroom one time at the hospital. Um, that was about two and a half hours ago. Um, I had a little bit of pain. I felt like my bladder was fill filling up and I adjusted the setting on the programmer. Uh, to a higher. Okay, so I came outside because the lighting is better. Um, so they they gave me an app to download to track my symptoms. Um, before I started to get my baseline of symptoms, they just gave me a paper log and uh, you just put the date, the time that you urinate. Uh, it says, did you have an accident? Did you have to change your pad or underwear? Um, the leakage amount, if there was leakage, I don't really have leakage. Um, the urgency rating from zero to four. Uh, for me, it is usually a four when I have to go. I have to go right away uh, within the next five minutes or I will probably pee on myself. Um, it has bowel on here. I guess some people have bowel problems and this device uh, regulates that as well. I do not have bowel problems. Um, and it has a retention log. Uh, I don't think I'm doing that part. But I do like to keep track of how many ounces of water I drink and how many times I urinate after that. Um, before this device, uh, for every eight ounces of water I would drink, I urinate about four to five times. So about once every 15 minutes, so about four to five times in an hour for every eight ounces of water I drink. Um, I have three young kids now, so that's really not manageable. It's really affecting my quality of life. I've been dealing with um, interstitial cystitis and overactive bladder since I was a child. I got diagnosed with IC at 15, but I started getting frequent UTIs around the age of seven or eight, uh, along with painful uh, urination and pelvic pain even when I did not have a UTI. Um, so now that my quality of life is being really affected and it's making it really hard to be a parent. I stay at home with the kids, so I'm just attacking this full force and trying to do everything I can um, to reduce my pain level and reduce my overactive bladder symptoms. Um, I'm also seeing a pelvic pain specialist at Mercy Hospital in St. Louis. I'm in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, and that doctor suggested that I get the surgery to see if I have endometriosis, uh, which he does believe I have. And when I was younger, we talked about possibly having this, but since I was so young, they did not want to do the surgery. And we just never revisited that again. So now I have that uh, surgery scheduled for October 10th. Um, so I guess surgery is the only way that they can diagnose, um, but once you're under, they can remove the affected tissue as well. And they said that that can relieve a lot of uh, pelvic pain 
symptoms. So I am looking forward to that as well. Um, so let me get the device out. Okay, so here is the box that they gave me uh, with the representative's name and number on there. And here's the device. It just looks like a cell phone. It's Medtronic. So this is the regulator. This is what controls the frequency. Uh, you do have to keep it charged. So uh, just click this, my therapy. And so she said, we're just gonna do the left lead for now, she will be contacting me throughout the week uh, to, I guess, talk to me and instruct me on what to do. So right now I have it at a five. I believe when uh, I first put it in, it was at a three. And uh, when I was feeling some symptoms, I moved it up to five. And uh, so this is just the left lead. She said that whenever we speak another day this week, she will tell me to switch to the right. And um, I guess we'll, we'll see how that works. Um, so, yeah, I'll turn this off, and the charger, batteries, instructions, warranty. And uh, yeah, there's an app that I downloaded on my phone to log my symptoms. Um, it's kind of hard for me to do the paper log with three little kids. I have a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a four-month-old, so it's hard to, you know, write, write down every time I use the bathroom, but it is easier for me to track it on my phone, so that is what I will be doing. Um, yeah, I am about to lay down and take a nap before uh, I have to have the kids come back home. So, yes, I will keep you updated on the pain level, and uh, my surgeon said that he would be calling me uh, in a few hours to check in and see how I'm doing, if everything's okay, and I will check in later. So I forgot to talk about what this sensation feels like. Um, so it, it, it feels like a TENS unit, essentially, but I guess just inside of you, instead of on the outside of your skin, you can kind of feel it uh, inside of you. So kind of like a steady vibration. Uh, it's more present uh, when you first get it. I guess after about the first hour, it uh, started to kind of fade away and I don't, um, I guess it's not as present um, as before. I guess you just get used to the sensation. Um, but yeah, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel weird um, or anything like that. It's just a feeling. Um, And they tell you that it should not be uncomfortable. Uh, if it is uncomfortable, they say you should just lower the setting down. Um, so yeah, once I moved it up one more, um, it was like a kind of tugging and pulling and it just wasn't a pleasant sensation. So once I just went down one more, um, it just felt like a, you know, a normal vibration and they do say you can adjust that um, as needed. So I guess if I had to use the bathroom really bad. I felt like my bladder was full. I could pull that out and adjust it and see how it would affect that. So that is uh, one thing I'm looking forward to trying today. So I saw uh, Dr. Hub at St. Mary's Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, he's amazing. He's great. And I would recommend him to anyone in St. Louis that's looking to have this procedure done. Um, so I have my post-op visit on the 7th. Today is August 2nd. So on the 7th, I will go in and uh, I guess we'll, we'll look at my log and we'll discuss symptoms. We'll, we'll see how it's working um, so far. And then uh, the, the full implant is already scheduled for August 16th. If I decide to keep it, if not, and I say it's not working, then I will just go into the office and they will remove the lead wires and we will talk about what other possible options that I have. And I believe, uh, before we scheduled all of this, he said uh, the next step after this would possibly be a bladder removal um, or you know, kind of re rerouting where I pee from through another organ. So I'm hoping it does not have to get to that. Um, I'm hoping that the device works and that this will improve my quality of life. 
So today is day three of post-op, um, day one. I kind of just slept all day, I was really tired. Um, pain was better than it was the day before. Um, but yeah, I just did a lot of sleeping and laying around. I didn't move around too much. I have stairs in my house and on the stairs that are really hard to go up and down. Um, and then if I stand for too long and have like too much weight, um, I kind of feel pain in my throat as well. But today I woke up feeling much better than the last two days. Um, so we'll see how today goes. I am going to drive today. I haven't driven yet. Um, I guess laying in bed, it's kind of hard to get comfortable. And then also sitting in a chair, I can never, you know, lean back. I kind of just sit forward, so it's not a big deal. But um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. And yeah. So today is day four of post-op. Uh, today I have my follow-up um, for just my after procedure follow-up with the doctor that did the surgery. Um, so I will take my uh, symptom log um, that has like the times and the dates um, that I urinated and I'll bring that into him and we'll discuss, um, you know, if it's working or if my symptoms have been reduced enough to decide that I want to keep it, which I think it definitely has. Um, in the beginning, I guess I noticed a small difference, but now uh, on day five, I can say yesterday that on day four, I uh, went to the bathroom about every three to four hours, which I can't tell you the last time that that has happened my entire life. So I think that this is a success and I want to keep it. Um, I did try to switch the lead to the other side after talking to the Medtronic representative. Um, and on the right side, I didn't feel anything, uh, even with the frequency being really high. Um, and she kind of explained that only one wire will be placed um, on a permanent placement. The only reason that they do two is to optimize um, the success of it working, because I guess they don't know where it will work best at. So. They put in two and then you try both of them and then you choose which one works the best. Um, so I guess in my case, that would be the left one because with the right one, I didn't really feel any stimulation um, at all. And I, even not feeling any stimulation, I still kept it on just to see. And I didn't really notice a difference. So I just switched it back to the left one uh, since I felt something and it was working. Um, so my appointment is at 10 o'clock. I am about to get baby Sedona and head there. The boys are at their grandma's for a couple of days, so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run some errands, pick up some medication, and um, find something to do today. I don't know, it feels really nice outside. <laughs> nice breeze, it's been hot. Now it's been raining with a little breeze, so I will follow up after the appointment and let you guys know what's going on. So I just left the follow-up appointment and I was mistaken on <laughs> what was going on because I went in and he took out the wires and then we discussed if it's working or not and then if I was going to keep the next appointment to get the permanent device placed in but I thought that I was keeping this temporary device and that it would be removed when we scheduled the surgery, I didn't know that he was taking out the wires and the office. So that was a little painful, a uh, very uncomfortable sensation having a little wire pulled out of your back. So it was a few pulls. It didn't just come right out. It was pull, 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 pull. Um, I got kind of like a sharp jolt that went straight like through my thigh, like through my crotch kind of down my leg it was very uncomfortable but it was short-lived and you know no radiating pain after so i will get the permanent device placed next wednesday on august 16th i think it is uh, so i'm looking forward to that i told him yesterday was the day that i saw the most improvement with my symptoms um i feel like i went to the bathroom at least every three or four hours which is crazy for me i don't know when's the last time that's happened is so he was very impressed he's very happy we are looking forward to seeing the results he said it could improve um it could you know stay like that or it could get even better so 
um, but I'm fine with every three hours or two, you know, four to five times an hour, depending on what and how much I drink. Um, I also, he told me to consume alcohol beverages as normal. Um, so he said, don't try to, you know, restrict uh, like what you would normally eat or drink uh, because we want to see how the symptoms uh, play with the device in. So I did have um, a couple beers, which usually make me pee uh, like five minutes after drinking one and then I'll pee about uh, six or more times uh, after finishing the entire beverage. So I had two yesterday and I didn't notice any more frequency with having to urinate after drinking the entire beer. So that was crazy that part of. And um, I did not have sex with the device, so I'm not sure how that will uh, work or how the pain or yes, I will be affected with that. I will have to wait and see how that works. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very happy that I did the trial and that it worked for me. So looking forward to next Wednesday to hearing it by soon. So I will keep you all updated uh, with the rest of the week. Anything that happens, I think I have another appointment for, um, I see a pelvic doctor, so I'll let you guys know what they're talking about. Have a great day.